Uh, the aim of this video is just for me to be able to sort of point out the differences in the Sony BVM power supplies. Uh, same model, but the service manual covers revision A, um, some documentation online covers revision C, uh, this is an A, and this is a D. Uh, and there they are actually, they're different. So uh, on the, I'll just point it out. So from here to here, there's a big difference in cap size. You might think, okay, that's a high ripple current and I've put in some little crappy thing. Uh, no, uh, I've got two references and of course the original that shows this is just a 100 at 16, I think. And this is a 1000 at 6.3 volts. Uh, they have swapped the relay and one of the uh, resistors back to front. They have changed a little bit of the layout around one of the protector boards. Um, both of these have been recapped, uh, one fully and one partially, but this is, uh, you know, you, you can definitely see the original stuff. Both had original, um, so this must be the one that's more stock. Both use the same 3.3 uh, high frequency slash high ripple current filters there. Um, and I have matched those in spec here. Uh, they have changes. Where else did I see some changes? Ah, uh, uh, yes, that's right. So these are all 470s. I believe these four are 470s, whereas here you get a 470, 470, and a 1000, and a 1000. Um, so in, some of the current sensing stuff is a little bit different in layout here. Uh, you may not be able to see it on camera, but here there isn't a resistor down here, but uh, on this one there is. Just next to that 100, there's a resistor down there. Uh, both, is that the 270? Yeah, so this... This being the interesting, this is the A. This is a 220 microfarad at I believe probably 450 or 400. What do they go with? Yeah, that's yeah. 220 at 450, whereas the next division up is a 270 at 450. There is a very slight change in the both. Uh, so I, I, I noticed this, the A has got gold test points, the D doesn't, they're silver. You can just make out the difference um, around one of these uh, resistors here. The protector board is pretty similar as far as the GB. They, they all used um, surface mount. I won't say it, surface mount uh, blessings. Uh, this one I recapped to be um, physically identical. Whereas on this one I didn't, and there's a couple of rationales for that, but they're both otherwise appear to be the same with the, the same latches. Um, this, I believe I moved to the back for some reason. Um, but it's typically on the front. Now around this area, there are some changes just in the physical layout in, in this area, but it seems to be the same um, LM393. Just double check that, the 393, yep, controller. Uh, both work. Both work very well. They're stable under load. Uh, both sustain high peak brightness without um, squealing. <laughs> and of course, they don't shut down. I'm just going to make sure this is dead straight now. And Baris. There we go. I'm happy with that. Uh, what else did I notice? There is some kind of feedback resistor potentially wonder if I can zoom that in for you. Feedback, I guess, resistor here. And they're two twisted together. Great. I love, you know, adding in some extra wattage. And then they've put a little insulator over that. That is missing on this board. Uh, there's just the photo uh, coupler. 
Um, heat sinking seems to be the same. They both have a very high standard in their construction. The PCBs are uh, solid. Um, the transformers, I think this must be getting down on the secondaries. I'm not sure. That must, is that a transformer in a inductor? Yeah, so both of these inductors are, are different as well. This is a 78104. This is a 56501. Different part numbers, different physical size. Unsure why. Um, part of the reason I'm talking about this is just uh, sometimes that you can actually backport the improvements. Uh, for example, you could, I believe, uh, add in, if you were recapping the mains filter, for example, and you had an A board, you could go for a 270. Uh, little changes like that on my BVM 2011P, the G board between revisions, one had uh, 270 at 200 volts uh, as a pair, and on the, the later revision it has the same um, farads but at a 250 volt each. So, you know, I, I backported that to, to when I recapped it. Um, so yeah, we've got some inductor differences, some changes around here, uh, still looking excellent quality resistors. Um, same controllers, but then the photocouplers over on this side are much, uh, they're six, yeah, so they're six instead of the four. Can you see that there? So there, there are some significant changes as far as, you know, the parts that you would need to be ordering. If you were to go off the service manual, uh, you're putting big changes into your board that uh, may not always be a match. So little upgrades to voltages and, uh, you know, going 50 farads higher in a, in a mains filter cap is one thing, but uh, when it comes to other things like diodes and certainly inductors on a secondary, um, you, you do want to make sure that you are documenting what comes out so that you can replace it uh, appropriately opposed to relying on somebody else's uh, spreadsheets or <laughs> the service manual. That's about all the differences I noticed. Otherwise, I'm uh, totally impressed. I believe they've got a relay uh, for the dig house, so it's not you know burning up all the time. So they've put some consideration into that. The uh, la some later models in PVM stuff, th these are just you know running off AC the whole time, sitting at 120, 140 degrees Celsius, which is just really inappropriate and a waste of energy. But uh, I'm, I'm sure this has got a relay for that. Uh, yeah, that's an Omron jobby. Um, I could be lying. I could be on the whole time. I haven't read the schematic for that thing, but... Um, these are identical. These are identical. Okay, I'll end the video there.